All right, I'm sitting here at my desk at work reading all the comments about how everybody's complaining about the price of this knife. So I contacted Benjamin and I said, hey, can you guys explain to me a little bit on the pricing of this knife? And I got some really cool answers, to be honest with you. So I, I was very happy with the answers and, and um, I think it makes it a lot more fun. Um, so a couple of the things that uh, they talked about is one, there's a lot of R&D and engineering that goes into a new design. So there's a lot of time and money spent on just the design process and getting and getting these getting these new lock mechanisms to work and uh, I think that's cool I think it's innovative and I'm willing to pay for innovation the other thing is that um, their their steel is sourced in Austria obviously it's m390 and their but everything else in the knife is sourced and made in the United States even the titanium is mined and sourced in the United States and, and, and the United States only produces four percent of the world's titanium so you gotta imagine that that's an expensive process getting USA sourced, mined, and, and milled titanium. The milling process is also very expensive. So you're milling pockets on the inside and the outside. Um, it's a very thin titanium, so you have to make sure that everything remains flat and straight and works good. Awesome. I love that. That makes me very, that much happier with the knife. The other thing is all the hardware, instead of anodizing it, um, they PVD coated it blue. And how cool is that blue? I mean, it is a super cool blue and it's not going to wear off like anodized will. So all the hardware is PVD coated. I think that's super cool. It's something they've done in the gold class before. Um, and I think that's a really cool feature on this knife. It just makes it that much cooler. Um, the, um, the other, the other thing is Benjamin takes care of their employees and, you know, unlike what I would imagine Chinese manufacturing does, um, you know, Benjamin wants to make sure that their employees are happy and able to live well and um, have what they need to um, live and want to work at Benchmade. So um, I, they, they take care of their employees. And when you have USA manufacturing that takes care of its employees, sources stuff in the US, granted the European steel, which I don't have a problem with at all. Um, this, this is an amazing, this is amazing product brought along with, you know, very innovative people. Now, um, Benchmade's made mistakes. Yes, Benchmade's made mistakes. Um, but every company has, and I get that, but I will go with USA manufacturing, especially when they try their best to do it right and do it well. And that just makes me like this knife that much more. So buy one or, and try out a really cool knife or don't, you know, you can always go and buy some vanilla frame lock from China by a designer here in the United States. If you want to, that's fine. That's your freedom to do that. But for me, I like to buy USA, I like to buy innovation, and I have fun trying out innovative things. So anyway, just my uh, just my take on the price on this knife. So I know a lot of guys are gonna get it, and a lot of guys are like, no, that's cool, I'm gonna go buy a Chris Reeves knife instead. Fine, but a Chris Reeves knife, I've got two of them, that's all I need. They're basically the same knife with slightly different shapes over and over again. I love them very much, but I have more fun getting some innovative things. And this lock is cool, it's innovative, it's different, and I very much enjoyed trying it.